pleasant good day, everyone, and welcome to the Deputy Governor's monthly message. My name is Yusei Adams, the Information Officer in the Office of the Deputy Governor. Today, I am excited to be joined by the man himself, the Deputy Governor of the Virgin Islands, Mr. David D. Archer Jr. How are you, sir? I am doing well. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Today, we are going to talk about something that is extremely exciting, not only for the Virgin Islands, but the public service. We are on the verge of something incredible and taking a brand new step forward. This is the Virgin Islands Public Service Institute and by extension, Public Service 101. Firstly, tell me about the Virgin Islands Public Service Institute and the vision for it. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Adams. I really hope I don't get discredited for smiling too much <laughs> and for being so happy. Can you imagine a place where when you enter the organization as a very young officer, you walk into that organization and they say to you, welcome. Here, the, here is the ethos, here is the business that we're in, here is what it will take to get you to be great at your current job, mm -hmm. but also, what are you interested in for the next 5, 10, and 15 years of your career? And whatever that path is, we will work with you, we will guide you, we'll provide you with learning and development opportunities to make sure you can become the best and most amazing version of yourself. That is the Public Service Learning Institute a clear plan, a clear path to ensure each public officer has a chance to reach their fullest potential. That is, that's incredible. And I can't help but think to what we're moving towards now, which is doing government business at its best. A key pillar in that is building capacity. We want to ensure that public servants understand that we care about their development and we want them to grow higher in the public service. So what you're telling me now, is that as a freshly minted person into the public service, the government is creating avenues for me to simply get better, for me to become a better person. Can you tell me what is the vision behind that? Is that us really wanting to see the individuals and the public officers excel? Well, most organizations, they wrongfully so, they're selfish. They bring you in and they say, do this job, I'm paying you for it, and do it or else. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a truthful conversation. The public service is not that institution, is not that type of organization. Not just by words, but we want to demonstrate what that means. Only when you're engaged and concerned about my well-being, my thoughts, my passion, my growth, can you get the best from me. So the philosophy is rather simple. We're, we will hire you, but we will say to you, there might be certain tools that you have. We're happy that you have them. Yeah. However, you might need to enhance those tools, be further equipped and better equipped. We'll provide that for you. And if you dare to dream to become the deputy governor, a permanent secretary, a financial secretary, a head of audit, whatever it is, we will provide you with guidance, direction, and support to get you there. I love what you just said, dare to dream. What's that saying is that if you can dream and if you can think about your future to that magnitude, we'll help you get there. So if you're watching, if you're a new public servant, you've been here for a while, the message from the deputy governor today is dare to dream, dare to have a vision, dare, dare to think forward. But to develop in public officers to this magnitude, we have to start from someplace. We have to start at a foundation. And this is where Public Service 101 comes in. Can you tell us a little bit about, about that? Public Service 101 is the foundation, the rudimentary building blocks of what it takes to be an exceptional public officer. Understanding the structure of the public service, understanding the makeup of the different ministries, understand the role of the governor, the premier, the deputy governor, permanent secretaries, but understanding the business that we're in mm -hmm. to serve clients. Understanding along with serving clients comes a particular responsibility, accountability, professionalism, delivering at a particular pace, but always being ready 
to learn and improve and to become, as I mentioned before, while daring, the mm-hmm. best version of yourself. That's incredible. Now, I've spent some time perusing the plans for Public Service 101. I'll be honest, I have early access. <laughs> In the outline, I am seeing that individuals will get to learn about every single department and unit in the public service. Can you tell me, because me, I work in the office of the deputy governor, can you tell me about some of the benefits that I would get from learning about internal audit and um, the office of the DPP? Can you tell me a little bit about gaining that bit of... Wonderful. If, If you view that process as a vehicle, as a car, you can have a brand new car and you can have a great engine But if there's no oil in the car or no gas, or if a light comes on, which is impacting the fuse, then that car cannot move. To appreciate the work that you've been hired to do, that you're doing, there must be a comprehensive understanding of how my job impacts others. When I do my work in a particular way, it allows me not only to deliver a quality service, It also allows me to demonstrate I'm accountable. So learning why is important, for example, through the financial management regulations, understanding systems of accountability, Mm -hmm. such as through the audit department or internal audit, or simply understanding what does the Department of Information and Public Relations do? That is a well-rounded professional. That is a well-oiled, well-gassed machine able to not just see what's in front of them, but to drive for miles and miles and miles with the right assurance that they are a key and accurate component of the public service vehicle. That is incredible. So one of the key uh, points about the Public Service Learning Institute and this Public Service 101 course is that we're making learning available to everyone. If you are a grade one, all the way up to the scale. So that brings me to you. Can you tell me a little bit about, one, what are you excited to learn about through the Institute? Well, the first thing you have to say is, I will also be part of that process. Hmm. So it doesn't stop at a clerical officer or a manager, all the way up to the deputy governor. All the way up to the deputy governor. And every time we have a chance to learn, it is the most beautiful and amazing gift that we can get. So for example... I have to, just as anyone else, have a mandatory 60 learning hours. Yep. And I'm trying to decide what angle I'm going to go into. I I have a keen interest in possibly more on the legal end. Okay. Understanding more of the institution with laws and so forth. Not just outside, not just based on what I do, but outside of what I do. And then I can always perfect my diplomacy skills. Yes. Or my understanding or better understanding of good governance and at minimum learn how to interact with professionals at all levels so i'm eager to learn i'm actually going to do probably 85 and not 60 hours (laughs) i won't tell (laughs) please don't so can we expect you in your expertise to be facilitating or teaching any of these courses thank you very much even if i was not part of the program i will put on a different outfit sneak Mm -hmm. in the back of the class (laughs) and just start to talk because someone helped me. Yeah. Someone told me, David, this is how you read a file. This is the purpose of the governor's office, the deputy governor's office. And it's not good enough to keep the information for yourself. We have an innate responsibility to develop ourselves. But while doing so, also develop others so that your legacy, their legacy can live beyond the current moment. That's a long way to say, if any opportunity comes where I can come into that environment at Public Service 101 or anything to do with the Institute, I will be there imparting whatever knowledge I know, but also learning from individuals within that room. That's, that's, that's the beauty of Public Service 101. Everyone can learn anything. And I think that creates that pathway that we're speaking about to go all the way up and be whatever you can dare to dream to be. Now, 
what I want you to do is speak to the public servant that's watching uh, this monthly message and saying, man, I, I don't see the benefit for me. Can you tell me as a public servant, what do I get to gain from this? Because speaking about Let's speak to two groups of persons. Yes. Let's speak to the persons that have been here for about 10 years and less. And let's speak to the seasoned public servants who are settled in their role, have accomplished that dream that they dared to have. Let's speak to them and tell them, what's the importance of learning at this stage? Thank you. 10 years or less, persons who are probably in their mid-career, there's going to be a burning desire that they currently have or a burning desire that they had. The Institute is going to evoke the energy that they felt regardless of the situation. They will determine for themselves whether or not they want to make a tremendous impact in their particular field. They will determine whether or not a career choice of helping persons, a career choice to be more effective in their profession is where they want to go. Most persons will choose yes. Once you choose yes, what we will do is eliminate the fear of not knowing. The fear of not being able to say, I don't know, but say, not knowing, it's okay. Learning and continuously learning is part of the process. The persons who are seasoned, like myself, <laughs> if you think you know it all, hmm. just try to navigate your phone for one minute. <laughs> And when you can't get that done, ask your five-year-old mm -hmm. niece, daughter, cousin to get it done. And they take your phone, they move their thumbs five times and say, there you go. And right away you realize that learning never stops. Yeah. It never ends. It's part of a continuous cycle to become a better and most amazing version of yourself a better and most amazing version of yourself. So what we're targeting here is the individual. We want you in yourself to feel better. And Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, when you sit behind that desk, we want you to be able to excel at your task. And excelling at your task, as public officers, we are called to serve this territory. So in everything that we do, the 30-something persons that are out there wants to know that they're benefiting from this. Can you speak to the public now and tell them what they said to gain from this new institute? Thank you very much. Well, first of all, the public, they have been extremely patient with our growth. We've been speaking about transformation. We have seen significant changes in the way we do business, but we also recognize there's always room for improvement. What this does, the, the comments and the feedback that we receive about possibly some clients, sorry, some public officers not delivering a, a quality product or a high level product, we have an answer for that. The, the most critical thing to delivering a quality product or quality service is just knowing the business <laughs> and knowing your work. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, and when, 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 you, when you know your work through learning, you have a certain level of confidence. You smile differently. You are more upright. And when you understand how you, the work that you do impacts not just your livelihood, but the overall community, then you have a different outlook. So to the public, every single day we will get better. Never be afraid to let us know how well we're doing, but also if we're not doing well. We have a commitment, and this institute is put, is put in place to make sure that persons learn the skills necessary to serve our clients better. Well, I think that's an incredible place for us to, uh, to, to move forward. Right now, we want the public to know, one, we want to hear your feedback. And I'll do the shameless plug. RateUs.gov.vg. One more time, please. RateUs.gov.vg. <laughs> we want to hear from you. We want to hear the good. We want to hear. We want to hear the bad. And we want to hear the ugly. That is the only way we'll get better. And we're committed to taking that information, processing it to the right channels, and committing to change. At the end of the day, we want to transform this public service. We want to be looked as as a world-class institution so i think that is a perfect place for us to stop off today deputy governor do you have any final remarks i'm excited 
I am happy and I'm hopeful. And our ambition to become world class is not just chat, mm. is not just an aimless hope. The Public Service Learning Institute, Public Service 101, is an indication that everything that we say about getting there is not just in thought, but is also in plan. But equally, it's in action. It's in action. Yes. So, thank you. At the time that this airs, uh, we'll be getting ready to to start to launch and being inviting persons to register and to prepare for taking this course. Uh, you can stay tuned to the Office of the Deputy Governor and the Government of the Virgin Islands. If you have any direct questions, you can contact the Virgin Islands Public Service Learning Institute at vipsly.gov at gov.vg. That's V-I-P-S-L-I at gov.vg for anything you want, especially Public Service 101. From the Office of the Deputy Governor, I'm Yusei Adams, Information Officer. This has been the Deputy Governor's Monthly Message. Thank you. <laughs>